hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for another video so today's video is going to be how to create a jar of progress so if you're looking for a fun and simple way to stay motivated and on track and achieving your goals then this is going to be the perfect tool for you okay so y'all the first thing you want to do is choose your jar so i chose a mason jar i love mason jars it comes with the top you can even cut a slit in the lid so that you could easily drop in those sheets of paper and that'll make the process a lot easier as well well. So choose your jar first. Then you want to go ahead and cut your pieces of paper. So I found some scrap paper laying around. So I'm just going to cut them in half. So that way I have just little sheets of paper. Now when it comes to this jar of progress and tracking your habits, you can use paper, you can use coins, you can use rocks, whatever inspires you. I just think it's the easiest for me to see the progress is using these paper pieces. But again, there's so many options. So once I cut the paper in half, then I am ready to assemble this thing. Also, don't forget this video does come with the freebie printable and we're gonna use them both to track these habits. So the printable looks like this. It's very easy to use, but we'll go through that a little bit later. All right, so we've got our pieces of paper. We've cut them in half. And so now it is time to go ahead and write the habit that we wanna track. So I wanna track my workouts. There's so many options when it comes to writing a habit. We're only going to choose one habit. So this jar is going to be filled up with the same habit. Again, this is one way of doing it. So mine is just going to be working out. But you could do Bible reading. You could do stretching. You could do water intake. You could do you know, some major goals. It's completely up to you with what goal you want to track. Now, the other way you could do this is to write a whole bunch of different habits or goals on the piece of paper and then fill the jar with all of those goals and then pick one each day that you want to work on. So that's another way of doing a jar of progress. But I want to see my full progress of this one goal. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Okay, then once you write out that goal, you want to probably do a few sheets of those goals, that same goal, because you don't want to have to write the same goal every single day. So go ahead and write some in bulk. And then you're just going to use that jar to keep filling it up with that specific goal. And that way you could see you know, the more the jar fills up, how much you're achieving that particular goal. And that's the beauty of it. Again, you could use anything you want to symbolize that goal, but I like the paper option just because I want to, I want to write it out, um, you know, and you'll have to know that the rocks symbolize that particular goal. But again, we are going to label it. So I'm not sure if I mentioned that yet. So I do have my label maker and I'm going to go ahead and label what it is that's in that jar. So since mine again is working out, I'm going to put work out or working out on the jar so that way I can see that that is what is represented in my jar of progress. You can have a couple of different jars of progress if you want but it's just such a great tool to be able to visualize. I'm such a visual person and it's great to be able to have a visual representation of the goal that I'm trying to achieve and see how far in the process I am. And so that way I could celebrate my achievements as I'm, you know, filling up the jar. I can get excited about it um, because you do want to do that as well. And it's just a great way to be able to um, track those goals, not be as overwhelmed with the tasks we need to complete and just benefit. I feel like it's of great benefit to have it. It's just a simple time management tool that can help you stay on track and motivate you in achieving your goals. It's also fun and engaging. Um, again, when you see that progress that you're making, and it also can be customized to fit your needs and preferences. So it's such a great idea. So I thought I would show you how I create my jar of progress. And then the inserts that are included kind of go along with them. You can use the jar by itself, but I do have inserts that are free. Again, you have to be a member of my blog. You can click the link in the description and you go to the members only part of the blog. And I have a ton of freebies there. Um, so you'll just grab the code and then head on over to Fancy Plans Co. Put in that code and the freebie will be um, available to you. It typically is available in one size. We'll see. I may do a couple of sizes. Who knows? Um, but it definitely can be resized if needed. So you could print it out to fit your planner. But this insert is awesome. It's going to track those habits as well. And it just gives you a, a different look. So you can use this in conjunction with the jar of progress. Or you can use the insert by itself. Or you can just use the jar of progress by yourself. It's, it's up to you with how you want to manage it all. 
But that's how I create my jar of progress. And so hopefully you guys enjoyed the process of me creating my jar. You will create a jar of your own. Again, I think it's super beneficial to be able to visualize. And of course, you want to put it somewhere where you can see it. And when it comes to the insert, just pop that in your planner. And day by day, make sure you're highlighting those boxes. You can either highlight the number itself, or you can highlight the box below, or you can check it off. There's so many options just do what works for you but keep that planner insert somewhere visual so that way you can continue to track your habits and make sure that you're checking them off day by day there are 31 days included for each habit you can track multiple habits on this sheet it's just awesome a way to be able to see all the colors filled up or all of the check marks and all of those boxes symbolizing that you're on track with those habits so I would use them both together and so once you write in that habit it and you start to track it then drop a sheet of paper or coin inside that jar and again since it's going to be somewhere visible you'll be able to see it in front of you and you'll be proud of yourself every single day that you look at that jar and you see that it's continuing to fill up with all of those things it's getting higher and higher and higher it's at capacity maybe at some point and you'll just feel so proud of yourself that you're able to keep on track with that particular habit and hopefully you know if it's something like weight loss you'll of course see the benefits of that if it's bible reading you'll see the benefits of that you of course want to be benefiting from your habits of course okay so do both of them together and i guarantee you if you keep tracking them then you'll be able to again visualize your progress and stay on track with those habits and you'll feel good about your progress okay and again and we talked about this briefly, but make sure you put it somewhere where you can see it. Okay, so I like to keep mine in my office right in front of me so that when I walk into my office doors, I see it right there. I can't avoid it. And so if I'm not meeting my habits, I only see two sheets of paper in there and it's day 10, then I'm going to question some things. Okay, so you got to hold yourself accountable as well. So keep it somewhere where you can see it. Okay, so we've discussed all the things. You now know how to create your very own jar of progress if you create a jar of progress tag me on social i would love to see how yours turned out and that'll help us to be able to motivate and push each other so let's do it you guys come on let's create our jar of progress make sure that we are keeping track of all of the habits we want to achieve in 2023 okay so thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate you stopping by my channel to catch this video. Hopefully you were inspired in some way. Hopefully you'll comment below. Let me know. Have you tried this before? Do you see yourself trying it? I would love to hear from you. Okay, so comment below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I hope you guys will subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And as always, I want you guys to come back by and catch another video. In which case, I'll see you guys then.